Welcome back beard tubers. Today we're going to take a look at another Crooked Stave Beard VA. This is one of their uh, Saison sort of style ales. This one they say is uh, VA meaning old is an artisanal barrel aged Saison, lightly dry hop, 4.2%. So they had some nice uh, hop variations on at the brewery when I was out in Denver for JBF. Uh, but I'm not sure which one, what hops are using this one. It's a 2013 batch number four. Got it poured out. Actually pours out a, a really clear, uh, kind of dark straw, light golden color, bright white head. So uh, it's a nice looking beer. Let's get the aroma. Yeah, it's very fruity aroma. Uh, definitely getting some of that Brett character. Uh, I, so far, I think a lot of these beers they're doing are probably blends of Britannomyces, if I had to guess. This one's big stone fruits, uh, peach, nectarine, apricot, big time. Uh, some tropical notes in there too, like a mango pineapple thing going on. Just kind of reminds me of a Brett Trois type of character. Uh, a little bit of funkiness, that kind of wet hay, slight barnyard note in there as well. Definitely got a musty character, picking up a little bit of a barrel character. Perhaps it's uh, aged in white wine barrels. It, it definitely has a, uh, a little bit of a white grape character to go along with uh, the stone fruits in it as well. It's a, it's a nice, light smelling, refreshing type of beer. So let's dig in, cheers. Yeah, that's nice. It's um, it's very light, very crisp beer. Uh, it's uh, certainly a sessionable beer. You can pound this beer. This is a beer I wish that would come in like a 750 or a, or a 22 ounce bottle. Because I'm gonna go through this little, uh, what are these, 12, 12 uh, 375 milliliters, so like 12.7 ounce bottles. Yeah, I'm gonna go through this quick. This is a very light, refreshing, slight tartness on the finish. Very nice. I'm wondering in this beer if they actually added a lactobacillus to it because I'm getting some nice lemony tartness that reminds me uh, of a character you get in a lot of Berliner Weiss. But it works really well in Saison form because it, it it's just makes it really refreshing. But I wasn't picking up much of a citrus character on the nose, but you get some lemon in there. You get those stone fruits, apricot, peach, a little bit of the tropical character, not so much, sort of uh, kind of you know, mango, pineapple, more uh, towards the pineapple side of things. Uh, getting some earthiness in there, I don't know if that's the dry hop coming through or uh, the late edition hops that they've added, um, like slight spiciness to the beer, uh, some nice like earthy, slight grassy notes. Has a floral character as well. Uh, up front, you do get some sweetness, but it finishes extremely dry. Um, the, the the sweeter note, it's it's got that like sweeter pilsner malt sort of character to the beer up front. It goes with the sweetness from maybe whatever yeast esters are in there, uh, and uh, maybe sweeter characters of some hops. Finish really, really, really dry, and uh, you get a little bit of like a, a barrel tannin in there too. Um, finishes with that lemony tartness, a little bit of like a, uh, a champagne like finish with uh, that sort of white grape character. And it's a, it's a very clean beer in the end, not a lot of lingering notes at all. Uh, very light body, well, at 4.2%. So I'm a big fan of VA. I think it's a, it's a great beer. I wish that, that I could get the draft versions that they were experimenting with different hops with, but. This is like one of my ultimate like lawnmower session types of beers that I could drink all day. Uh, it's just it's it's just a great sort of take on a, a saison and a type of beer that I would like to make on a regular basis because you can just drink a lot of it. So highly recommend picking up VA. It's getting an A for me. Uh, Cricket Stave doing some awesome stuff with uh, Britannomyces and, and all kinds of barrels and. This one I highly recommend if you're looking for a nice, refreshing session type of beer. That's going to wrap it up. Until next time, please comment and subscribe. Cheers.